I just wanted to record a few things um, while I'm up here, actually in Wyoming, uh, looking at uh, fossils in an Eocene unit called the Washakie Formation, which is a middle Eocene unit. Um, radiometric ages from these beds here, up here in Wyoming, placed it around uh, 45 to 46 million years ago, um, uh, extending back to me 47 million years ago. Um, which places it within this um, time period um, during the middle Eocene called the Brigerian and it goes up into the period called the Uintan which is named after um, the fossils in the Uintan Formation in northeastern Utah. So I'm up here just doing some recon um, so trying to look at some localities on the east side of this basin. It's a pretty remote place, a little challenging to get out here um, so I usually have to come up and spend a few nights up here, but I've been exploring this area. I've been coming up to the Washakie Basin for several years now looking for some uh, some sites. Um, last year we spent a lot of time up here finding a lot of sites in these lower uh, units called the Washakie A Horizon, um, which is what's behind me up here. Um, I wanted to show um, everybody, uh, this is my setup that I've built uh, for doing field work out here. This is my little teardrop trailer that I built. Um, this is my home, away from home, <laughs> that I live in. Little teardrop trailer. Um, you know, I try to do it on a very quick little budget. So this is my kitchen here, my stove, water, um, pots and pans, storage for food, lantern, my cooler. Um, it gets really dusty out here, so it's, it gets beat up quite a bit. So it's pretty sturdy in terms of getting a lot of dust and stuff. And then I just have these nice doors here. So it works really good. All right, so um, starting to find a few things. So I was just walking along and I found this um, sticking out of the ground. So I started to kind of dig it out. Looks like we have a humerus. Um, this would be the head of the humerus, this is the upper arm bone of a fairly large mammal. Right here, I'm finding these are uh, fish scales. They're ganoid fish scales of uh, extinct garfish and they're coming out of these sands just by the tons of them. Now, I often mention to people that, that fossilized bones can be kind of almost any color. Oftentimes they're black or kind of a dark brown um, but these are some blue or greenish I guess fossils here that I'm finding. Um, these are fossil uh, turtle shell and uh, they're kind of a bluish color. If you, uh, well actually I'm finding a lot of fossil turtles out here. Uh, and this is actually kind of a neat, neat piece of a turtle shell. This is the top of the carapace, um, sort of just above the head of the turtle. And um, this piece right here actually um, is very diagnostic of a turtle called Ectotemes wyomagensis. Now Ectotemes is a turtle that is the most common turtle that we find on the banks of Lake Goshute up here in Wyoming, these, this ancient lake that was here. Um, Ectotemes, um, you know, is a me medium-sized turtle, got about that big, sometimes you get a little bit bigger. Sort of blown away by uh, how many turtle turtle fossils there are out here. This is a pretty cool one right here. Um, let's see, here's the plastron. This is a um, soft-shelled turtle. Um, uh, the trinicid family. But they have these interesting kind of spikes that come off the, the shells. You can see here. So the uh, plastron and the carapace don't uh, aren't united, so that's why they're called soft shells, is that the carapace, the top shell, 
and the plastron on the bottom shell, they are connected, but they're not like uh, fused together with the bone. So, whoa, you guys see that? It goes a pronghorn. All right, found something really incredible. I haven't touched it yet, but what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my camera and I'm just gonna like follow it up. So look at the ground and see if you see what I see on the ground. And then, uh, and then we'll, we'll collect it and take a look at it. So I was walking along here, just kind of looking at the ground. See what, if you see what I see. I followed it up. All the way up. And right up there really caught my eye. So let's take a look and see what this is. All right, so the first thing I see at the bottom of this hill is a nice maxilla here, right here. You can see it, we got this is the upper teeth, um, and they're sort of a uh, figure um, that looks like the pie figure. So it's a it's a taper. It's a parasodactyl uh, related to tapers. So this is the first thing that I saw right right here. Then if we move up here, we see bones coming out, some bones, but we see up here. Right here, we see a lower jaw. Ah, right there. Probably the same individual. So we got a skeleton, so cool. Right there, some pieces here. This looks like part of the upper maxilla. Oh, I'm gonna try to keep everything here so we can systematically collect it. And then we can see, as we come up here, more of the skeleton. Uh, eroding out um, right in here. Uh, this looks like it might be part of the frontal. Here's part of the, this is, looks like the symphysis of the lower jaw, which is really great. We've got broken off. Here's part of the other jaw. And then up here we got somebody else. This is the other side. So we got a weathered out uh, skull here to collect um, that's coming out from up here. So that's where it's coming out. So what I'm gonna do is, is follow this up. I'm gonna collect um, the stuff at the bottom, make sure we capture everything, collect it up, and then we'll see what we can find up here. But this is exciting. We found, we found a really nice mammal. Woo. I was getting worried there. Looks like we got most of it. All right, so we got them all packaged up, wrapped them in toilet paper, so they're all safe. And uh, so this looks like a taper called um, Heolides. Heolides is a um, kind of common um, medium size to small size taper that's known in the, in the Brigerian. So it's pretty nice to, to find a little, a little taper Heolides out here. Um, so I'll keep looking. Now we know a good good strata to take a look at and see if we can find some more uh, interesting little mammals. There's a bunny right there. She's looking at me. Hello, little bunny. How are you? Rocks with holes in them. Isn't that crazy? Another one with a hole. It's crazy. I don't know. These are all holy rocks. <laughs> Pretty crazy. I think I've been in I've been in the desert too long. But yeah, those are pretty funny looking rocks.